my second document. Camera is tripping. Okay. All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach in the course where I learned this truth. All right, peace and salutations to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai's elect. All right, the house of David. All right, um, this came out the proper side bit. Today is March 24th, year 2022, the year of your help by Shemel Shai's turn up. All right, and um, this year has been exactly that. All right, uh, a lot of judgments, um, a lot of things come in, you know what I'm saying, to the light. Uh, wars and rumors of wars, sedition of men, uh, uh, Matthew 24 and 12, because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, all these things that are happening in some sort of fashion in the times that we're in right now, and it's only going to get worse, especially um, in the time of Jacob's trouble, which we are fast approaching. All right, uh, you had to pass over last week, you know what I'm saying, and um, today. We're out of the uh well we're in this we're in the Sabbath right now, but it'll be over um once the sun goes down where I'm at, you know. So we got about another hour and a half left for the Sabbath. Alright, but I just want to come out and prophesy a bit, you know what I'm saying? Push this P. Alright, and the P being prophecy, alright. So um You know what I'm saying? Let me uh let me open up with a scripture, right? And uh Lord wasn't this be out of fine. So the first scripture I'm gonna read is gonna be Go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Lord willing, that wind ain't too much, all right? Uh, it ain't really ripping like it used to be. All right, it's actually a real pretty day today out here. All right, give me one second. Ecclesiastes. All right, chapter three. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We're going to start at verse 1. It says, to, every, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, all right? We're in the time of mourning, all right? You know what I'm saying? Great mornings is coming on this earth. But the only people who would who know this is the elect, all right? Give me one second. All right, let's get that back. So as I was saying, we're in the time of uh, great mourning, all right? People are mirthing it up, and you have no idea what's coming to this place. All right, one second, I can. All right, but yeah, as I was saying, um. Terrible times is coming to this place, all right, and um, two-thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying, they're going to get caught up in it. All of these heathens are going to be caught up in it, and um, there's nothing you can do for them, all right? All right, so as I was saying, terrible times is coming to this place. Two-thirds of our people going to get caught up in it. 
lake is going to be safe from it though. Jumping all over the place. All right, um, where was I at? Yeah. Also, let me go down to verse eight in the same chapter, Ecclesiastes seven. All right, and jumping down to verse eight, it say a time of love and a time to hate. I mean, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. All right, and we're coming into the time of war. All right, seditions of men. All right. You got what's going down still over there with the uh, Edomites in Russia and Ukraine. All right. Um, I seen some shit earlier. Uh, you also got the NATO meeting today. Uh, you have Antiochus Biden meeting with the other NATO nations. All right. I'm pretty sure they telling him, uh, nigga, why you ain't helping? All right. You know what I'm saying? You standing on the other side of the world watching Russia kick our ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't helping? All right. And Antiochus Biden, of course, is going to have to. Talk that talk to quell it over. All right. Y'all forget me. All right. Gotta drink a lot of fluid, man. I've been doing with chest issues. A lot of mucus and just a whole bunch of shit here at play, but I feel pretty good. But as I was saying, um, you know what I'm saying? They got the NATO meet today. Today. Alright, and NATO is um wanting to know what America's gonna do to help Ukraine. Alright, you had um they took a poll about the uh, the American people and if and if the American people are uh, approve or disapprove of, of Biden's handling of the Ukraine situation and and it was a fifty nine percent of the people disapprove of how he was handling it, alright? So you got these um excuse me, you got these American Edomites Feeling bad for they foreign eating my brothers, all right. And the Lord is putting, uh, making them fight each other, all right. And that's just the beginning, all right. It's a time of war, all right. And all the other NATO nations, of course, again, you know, what I'm saying they looking at America as they as their helper, all right. You got two big powers in the world, or well, three now with China, but the primary two big powers of rulers on this earth is uh the Russians and the and the um Americans, all right? And NATO is backed by the United States, all right? So when um to to protect them from Russia. So when Russia comes knocking at the door, NATO is going to be looking for America to be there to answer it, all right? But America ain't trying to do that right now, you know what I'm saying? And that's going to further make uh NATO and the other nations hate the whore because they're going to be like, shit, we, we signed up with America for America to, to protect us from NATO. I mean, it's like it. we, NATO is going to be like, we signed up with America to protect us from Russia. But here it is. Russia is still doing what they want to do to us, and America ain't even helping. All right, we've been better off signing on with them than signing on with America. And you know what I'm saying? They're going to shoot their missiles on America, too, before it's over with. All right. The Lord is going to rise up all the nations against America, all right? And they're going to burn her with fire, as it says in Revelation, all right? They're going to burn her flesh, all right? You know what I'm saying? All right. And those days are fast approaching, all right? You know what I'm saying? That's why you got different, um, different decrees coming down and shit, you know what I'm saying? All types of... Things are taking place behind the scenes and uh, right in front of the right in front of your eyes. But the only people who who know about this and are able to understand it is the elect. All right, Revelation twelve and twelve reads: Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. All right. The devil that is speaking about is Esau. All right, Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, woman, and child. All right, but they are not white; they are red. All right, they're the biblical red Hebrew Edomites. All right, they are the people against whom the Lord Yahweh Shai had indignation forever. They're in rulership right now, as it says in uh, Job nine and twenty-four, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, and um, 
they're the nation that will be in rulership when Yahweh shall return to the world. Yahweh shall to the world equally calls Jesus. And Yahweh is his father, all right, who the world calls God. All right. And uh they're coming back to take Esau down, all right. So, um, Isaiah 63 and verse 1 says, um, who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? All right, uh then you got um second there's six and nine, of course. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. And the, and the world that it's saying is the age, all right, the rulership. All right, we're in the end, we're at the end of the age of Esau, all right. Next on the book for that devil is slavery. All right, chains. All right, and that goes for all you nations. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 30 and 16 says, All of our adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Psalms 83 tells you who the adversaries the Israelites are. All right, Moab, uh, Ham, Ammon, uh, Esau, of course, number one, Amalek. You know what I'm saying? All these nations. Born in the captivity, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, which will take place on this earth and will be Jacob's rulership, all right. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Jacob, all right. You know what I'm saying? But before we can get to that, prophecy has to uh, play itself out. And, and, and part of that prophecy is that one third of, Jake, of Jacob is going to be spared and two thirds of Jacob is not, all right. They're going to die right here in the land of the north. With, uh, right next to Esau. <laughs> Alright, y'all, excuse me, Salaki, about that. Give me one second. shit man Woo. an affliction in the flesh all right but it's all good all right one of my bros um he made me uh a home remedy all right i got it and uh it's, it's it's working but you know what i'm saying still gotta go through the process of getting this shit out all right but picking back up where i was at all right um yeah um these devils are gonna come down with great red Alright, these devils are gonna come down with great wrath, alright? The Lord uh in Psalm 17 and 13 it reads, uh, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, alright. The Lord is also gonna use these Edomites to render out the judgment to the two thirds of Israel. Alright, he's gonna use Esau. All right, to come in like a flood on two-thirds of his people, all right? And as the scriptures say, then shall it be known who am I chosen, all right, the elect. All right, the Lord is going to lift up a standard for his elect, all right? And, no, and nothing's going to be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying, hurt him, all right? The scriptures speak about in Job chapter 5, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, all right, um... You know what I'm saying? That thou shalt be at peace with the with the stones of the fields and the beasts of the earth shall be at peace with thee. Alright, so um the men of the Lord and those that are tied on to the men of the Lord are gonna be protected by Yahweh Bashim Awashar. But everybody else here in America, here in the land of the north, alright, is gonna be going through it the same way um ancient Egypt went through it, alright. When Yahweh Bashim Awashar brought the plagues and all of that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he's going to plague Egypt again, all right? So if the Lord is going to plague Egypt again, you know what I'm saying? This time he's only going to pass over the elect, all right? The first time he passed over all of Israel, but this time he's only going to pass over the elect, all right? So that means two-thirds of our people, they're going to die the death of a heathen, and they're going to go through the punishments of a heathen, all right? Because that heart, meaning mind, they are heathen, all right? saying um the lord actually referred to him as his enemies in isaiah 1 he said um i will ease me of my enemies all right ease me of my adversaries all right that's what two-thirds is in the sight of the lord all right um 
two thirds would, would, would signify like um the house of Saul, all right? The one third would represent the house of David, and the two thirds would represent the house of Saul, all right? Go to Amos 3. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to read verse 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, has not done it. Surely the Lord power will do nothing. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. All right. So the Lord reveals these these things that we that we speak of to the prophets. All right. And, and our job is to come out, all right, and tell it to the people. All right. But the only people who's gonna, you know, what I'm saying, hear it is the is the elect. All right. The Lord made us prophets unto the nation, to the nations. All right. But um, we understand and know the only people who's gonna be able to understand this is the elect. All right. You know what I'm saying when we speak this truth, it's to condemn the rest of you people, all right, and to um, seal the elect, all right, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of course, all right. N nothing is of ourselves. This is Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet. Unto the nations, all right. So that's what I was just quoting. You know what I'm saying? All right, the Lord wasn't just been edifying up to this point. All right, I'm bearing through it as best I can. All right, I know you hear a lot of sniffling and hawking and shit, but forgive me. All right, this is just part of the battle. All right, making our bodies a living sacrifice. this in um, Psalm 78 in verse 5 it says for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children all right so you other nations aren't mentioned all right it said he established a testimony in Jacob all right Jacob's name was changed to Israel all right today that would represent you Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans all right Verse 6, Psalms 78 and, 78 and verse 6, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. All right. And we're in the generation of the prophets being back on the earth again. All right. You know what I'm saying? You got prophets in all cities of America. All right. All over the world. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got members of, um, GMS, you know what I'm saying? You got, and, and if they're not members, you got people who are uh, affiliated with GMS. All right, teach the same doctrine that 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 was that's taught at GMS and that reverence the men of GMS. All right, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, who teach, and of course where we learn this truth. You know what I'm saying? As we open up our lessons with. All right, those men are our spiritual fathers, our big brothers, and you know what I'm saying. We're all part of one of, of the body. All right. All right. I flipped the camera. You know what I'm saying? Give you a different view. You know what I'm saying? Let me see part of it. Like I said, it's actually uh, I'm real pretty out here today. It's muddy, but it's still, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. All right. But yeah, you know, as I was saying, I'm saying this is the generation of the prophets being back on this earth, all right. And when the prophets are on the scene, all right, you know that you know that means judgment is getting ready to come, all right. The Lord puts his prophets out to warn the people before the judgment comes, all right. That way, uh, nobody has an excuse to say that they didn't know or they didn't hear, all right, because in the times we in right now, this generation, this world. All right, everybody has a YouTube account. 
all right everybody has a youtube account all right and the profits are all over youtube all right you know what i'm saying <clears throat> apostles of the uh, and the elders of gms have been on youtube since 2007 all right we're in 2022 right now all right it's 15 years all right you know what i'm saying come this summer it'll be 15 years i think it was they went on in the summer of 07 i'm not sure all right uh shit in 07 that was my last year of high school all right so you know what i'm saying um hey the apostles have been on youtube for a while all right this truth has been going through the earth for a while all right and the apostles have been on the streets all right for over 30 years all right so nobody's gonna be able to say that they didn't know they never heard this. This is adverse to them. All right? The Lord is, is choosing, all right? And then at the end of the day, even if they were to do that, it wouldn't matter. Right? Because man's goings are of the Lord, all right? How can a man then understand his own way? All right? The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He turneth it which, whatsoever way he, he wants to, all right? So if the Lord wanted you to get this and understand this, you would have gotten it. The Lord wanted to wake you up, he would have woken you up. Alright. Um, what they tell you in Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just most high you have by Shemel size in the midst thereof, he will not do iniquity. Every morning do it he bring his judgment to light, but the unjust Lord no shame. Alright, a fig don't fall from the fig tree. But the Lord is sanctioning it. Um The Lord says your very hair is a cover. I mean your very hair, the very hair, hairs on your head are numbered. All right, so everything that takes place on this earth is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh all right? Nothing has free will, all right? Uh, none of that shit, all right? Everything that goes down is because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh wants it to go down, all right? So like, all right, yeah, everything that goes down is because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh wants it to go down, all right? No, uh, there's no such thing as a coincidence. A coincidence dink with you all by Shimmy I was shot, right? A coincidence, all right? No such thing as a coincidence dink with the Lord, all right? If it happened, you know what I'm saying? The Lord wanted it to happen. All right. Isaiah 45 and 7. Um, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil out of the Lord. Do all these things, all right? You help by Shimmy I was shot, all right? Whether it's good, evil, doesn't matter. All right. So, um, let's continue on. I'm gonna go to. Let's go to Mark chapter three. All right. Because this American society is a divided society. All right. You got all different people living all different facets of life and it's not let me what's the word it's not um fuck it we're gonna say it for what it is it's not it's not good all right it's wickedness all right you got sodomites every goddamn where lesbians every goddamn where uh pedophiles and fucking transsexuals and just all types of shit going on in this place all right everything that you help by some outside against this place is for all right you know what I'm saying? You got the nigga woman, all right, uh, the judge who's been taking over all of the news the last couple of days, um, Contavia, whatever her name is, all right, the ghetto gagging judge, all right, she's married to an Edomite man, all right, uh, America, she has these Edomites basically questioning her and quote unquote ridiculing her about her rulings and cases concerning sexual predators and shit like that, all right? When at the end of the day, that's all just a big front, all right? If you ask me, that's just an initiation, an uh, initiation pro uh, process, all right? They're bad, they're, they're it's like, uh, what they, what is that shit when, when you finna join a team and all the seniors are there and you join the varsity team and you get hazed and shit like that? That's all that is, that's an initiation, all right? Since when has a fucking Edomite gave a shit about um child porn you 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 fucking red devils are known for being boy lovers and pedophiles and shit that's all the fucking greeks 
the Romans did, all right? You Greeks and Romans, you were known for having little boys as your little lovers and shit, all right? And you Americans today, you so-called white people over here in America today, today you're nothing but Greco-Roman American Edomites, all right? You're the same goddamn people, all right? You was doing that shit in all your, uh, your, your, your fucking lives, all right? You people have always been wicked. You are the wicked, all right? Hebrews 12 and 16 tell you, lest there be any fornicator or profane person in Esau. When you read that scripture, in different translations, it tells you, let anyone, let not anyone be a sexually immoral devil like Esau, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what them devils get off on. So for them to be jumping down Eve neck behind the shit, all right, you know, that's just, and she's, and, and on top of that, she's married to one of them devils, all right? You know, that's some bullshit. All right, there's just some shit to uh to to Esau just doing that shit to hide and basically make you make you Americans think that he's a wholesome individual. All right, he wants to uh you know what I'm saying at the same time put one of the you black queens on a certain level. He's also reminding her that when she comes to their to their group that hey she better play ball and she better know her place. All right. It's all a big shit show, all right? It's, it's all kind of shit. And it's a di uh, distraction from what's going on, you know what I'm saying, in the real world, all right? You know what I'm saying? Mark 3. And let me see, 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan, all right? How can Esau cast out Esau, all right? And if a kingdom be divided itself, I mean, if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. All right? And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. All right? And this is the end of Esau's kingdom, all right? You had that little puck-ass politician, what's his name? Lindsey Graham. All right? He got a girl name, all right? Who the fuck named his son Lindsey? All right? You know what I'm saying? The way he was talking to the, uh, to the nigga woman, all right? He, he, he had more... A bitch in him, then, then she did it in her, all right? She sat there stoic, all right? I, I get a nigga woman this, all right? She cried once or twice throughout this shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting through it, but hey, she, she's she got more balls, even though she doesn't have them. But she's got more balls than any of you Edomites on, on y'all best day, all right? She will not let you fuckers, all right, uh, fluster her to a, to a point to, she, to where she just breaks down and falls apart. All right, this was the last day that they was going to question that ghetto gagging woman. All right, she'll be sitting in her black gown and have a gavel in her hand come tomorrow. But, hey, Esau made her go through it. Hey, and she stood tall, all right? She showed that she's worthy to be that pit bull for Esau, and, and she's going to die with Esau, all right? And I think in the cases that uh, them Edomites was talking about, that she lower sentences or if she didn't lower sentences she gave out to the men who was doing the quote unquote sexual acts and shit they were Edomites alright she showed leniency to Edomites alright and Esau was upset because she, she showed leniency to Edomites what, what kind of fucking sense does that make alright I'm saying showing you that it's a fucking shit show alright anyway So let me read this also, since I was speaking on uh, I'm saying the judge, the woman being in a position that she ought not be in, all right? It's another Egyptian custom that's acted out here in America, all right? Jeremiah 31 and 22, how long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, had created a new thing in the earth, the woman, Shall compass a man, all right? So you got these women judges, all right? They're handed down sentences to men, all right? Usurping authority over men, all right? Everything the Bible said that they're not supposed to be doing, all right? And who gave them liberty to do that shit, all right? Esau, all right? And that's why, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when Eve made that, that declaration with him in the garden, 
way back when you had what you have today all right the queen of heaven all right so when your house shy returns all right I don't, not only is Esau gonna be taken down but that black woman she's gonna be taken down all right she's gonna be taken down well before Esau though all right Eve is going down during Jacob's trouble all right when Jacob's trouble hit all right that's when Eve is, is gonna fucking be taken in off her shit overnight all right that she gonna go down real quick all right Isaiah 32 tell you that Isaiah 32 and 9 rise up you women are at, that are at ease many days a year shall you be troubled you careless women for the venture shall fail the gathering shall not come tremble you women though at ease all right uh strip you and make you bare girl sackcloth upon your loins they shall lament for the teeth and the fruit of vine all right um then also in isaiah 3 they tell you um in that day the lord is going to take away all the, the the things that these women have accessible to them today all right you know what i'm saying that nappy ass weed all right them fucking eyelashes you know what i'm saying the changeable suits of apparel the lord is gonna strip these hoes of all of that you know what i'm saying all the way down to the socks on their feet all right you know what i'm saying the lord gonna he gonna show eve for what she really is all right you know what i'm saying and then you're gonna get the uh, isaiah 4 and 1 all right you're gonna have you know what i'm saying the eve's cleaving to that elect Israelite man, all right? Isaiah, they're going to be cleaving to a house of David Israelite man, all right? Um, in Isaiah 32 and 2, Israelite man, all right? In Isaiah 13 and 12, Israelite man, all right? One of those men that are made more precious than fine gold, all right? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these women going to get rejected, all right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of these women be talking shit about the men of the Lord. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A couple of days ago, there was a video that, that came out. You know what I'm saying? Right before the Passover, you had this fucking demon-ass woman talking shit about the apostles. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to kill that bitch. All right? You know what I'm saying? That bitch is going to die. All right? She locked right up to that stupid, nasty, dot-head whore. All right? I'm saying the Lord gonna kill all you bitches who had wicked thoughts about us, alright? Starting with the apostles and the elders of Ray Millstone, you know what I'm saying? Even the thoughts that you had that were fucked up, that were that were fucked up toward us, you people are gonna fucking uh pay for it, alright? You know what I'm saying? The angels record everything, alright? You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, uh, he that receiveth the prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. So uh, so the flip side the flip side to that is if you hate the prophets, you're gonna receive a reward of those that hate, you know what I'm saying, the prophets, alright? If you hate the prophets, you hate the Lord, alright? What's that? Luke twelve, uh Luke ten and sixteen, he that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me, alright? So if you hate the men of the Lord, you hate, you know what I'm saying, the Lord his son, alright? Hey, but it's all good because guess what? We ain't them pussy ass niggas that these that these Christians, alright, will make you think God's people are to be. Alright? You hate us, guess what? We hate you too. Alright? We don't give a fuck about none of that shit, alright? We not them niggas that that I'm slacking, we ain't niggas, but we're not those men. That they have those worldly emotions and give a fuck about what a two third degenerate has to say or feel about us, alright? You know what I'm saying? Truth be told, we're better than you motherfuckers, alright? Lord willing, not be of that number, but those that are, alright? The elect is better than the, than the two thirds, alright? They're on another level, alright? And they're gonna always be on another level, alright? The house of David is always gonna be over the house of Saul. You know what I'm saying? Why you think the house of Saul is gonna have to be reborn through the house of David, alright? The house of David is on a new level, alright? And when we get them new bodies, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be on a new, we're gonna be on a higher level then, too, alright? You know what I'm saying? You're you gonna know an elect Israelite in the kingdom from a two third Israelite in the kingdom, alright? we gonna all shine bright like diamonds and everything, and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Be, be glorious in the eyes of these heathens and shit, but 
everybody's gonna know the difference between one of the elect that was that that uh that established the kingdom of heaven from one that was born into the kingdom of heaven. All right, if that makes sense. All right. Lord willing, I'm of that number, all right? Like, as one of the prophets said, uh, just to be a doorman in the Lord's kingdom, it's going to be awesome, all right? As long as I'm of that, of that elect, all right? This is what's coming to the land of the north, where two thirds of our people are going to be cut up and die. As it says, and it shall come to pass, meaning that it's going to happen, and, it's, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, the land of the north, said the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right? Two out of three new Negroes and Spanish people will be down here. For your help, shot to rise up to the prey. All right, wait for your help, I should shot yeah, to rise up to the prey. All right, and I also prove that that scripture is talking about the land of the Lord. It says, um, all the land. Let me go up a couple of chapters. This is Zechariah 2, verse 6. It says, Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, the right, North America. Said the Lord, your help. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shemel all right? It's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But it just said, deliver the, uh, it just said, flee from the land of the north, all right? Deliver thyself, meaning repent, O Zion, that dwells with the daughter of Babylon, all right? The Edomites, Esau, the daughter of Babylon, all right? Psalms 137, verse 7, tell you, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race of race, even to the foundation of the Verse 8 says, the daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. So, the Lord's people are going to be dwelling with the Edomites in the last days in the land of the north. All right, the biggest bulk of the Lord's people, all right. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, but the biggest bulk right here in America, all right. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, what was I about to say? Yeah, Jeremiah 15 and 33. All right, tell you what. Uh, all that hell the Lord, people captives held them fast and refused to let them go. Uh, it says Israel and Judah were oppressed together. Right here is where we're oppressed together, right? The Hispanics, the Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the, the Negroes, the Jamaicans and Haitians. All right? All oppressed, you know what I'm saying? Right here on this side of the world together by Esau the devil that the Bible speaks of all right our evil wicked twin brother all right who was going to serve us soon all right all right as the scriptures say in um, Genesis the elder shall serve the younger all right um in the first came out read all over like a hairy garment and they and they called his name Esau so the first one that came out was uh was Esau, you know what I'm saying? And Jacob came out afterwards and um took hold of Esau's foot. So that that's how you know that um Esau gonna have to serve Jacob in there. Also you have the fuck? Yeah, I see that shit. What the shit are you turn? Anyway. But um also, uh, it said that Esau was going to be given the fatness of the earth, and by the sword, he was going to live, all right? And when Esau came over here to the Americas, 
he did that, all right? By the sword did he live, all right? He took down Gad. He took down the, um, the Northern Kingdom, enslaved them, all right? Uh, put them on slave ships, all right? And then, all right, he came uh, to the west coast of Africa and gathered, and gathered uh, together the Southern Kingdom. Put them on slave ships and brought them over here, as it says in Deuteronomy 28 and uh, verse 68, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um, and hey, ever since then, we've all been in captivity together, all right? To this day, all right? As the scriptures as the scripture say, we are yet this day in our captivity, all right? And we're going to be in this captivity until you help us and our shall redeem us, all right? No man is going to get us out of this shit, all right? No man put us in this shit, all right? The Lord put us in this, all right? The Lord put us in this predicament. For our wickedness, all right, and um, being spiritual adulterers and all of the shit that we was doing, all right. So if the Lord is the one that put us in this, the Lord is gonna have to be the one to take us out of it, all right. The Lord gave Esau that blessing, so the Lord's gonna have to take that blessing from Esau, all right. And until that happens, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna be right here in America pushing this P, all right, this prophecy, all right. The man of the Lord is gonna be doing that, all right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, uh, that's our honorable service, all right? You know what I'm saying? You got niggas pulling up around me now, you know what I'm saying? Blaming that nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? Look at this shit. Hold on. I don't want to just flip it over there on them like that. But y'all could probably hear that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? This is what goes down in Babylon, all right? You know what I'm saying? And that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place, all right? He's going to destroy you niggas in it, all right? Let me read this in Revelation 13. All right, uh, verse 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, all right? This is what we're waiting on, all right? To do them devils how they did us, minus the buck breaking and minus the raping, all right, of the women. All right, we want your woman, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna rape her while, while, while you alive, nigga. All right, what kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? We'll put you to death and we gonna go about it the way the law said. But hey, in our kingdom, it ain't gonna be no need to take one of you devil's women, all right? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? The Israelite woman is gonna be banging, all right? We gonna, you know what I'm saying, take your women because. We have a preference for all types of women, but, hey, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Exodus 21 and 16 tell you, he that steals the man, if he shall be found in his possession, uh, he shall surely be put to death, all right? We still in these devil's possession, all right? You know what I'm saying? Esau's getting ready to come down with, with that, uh, that karagma as well, all right? That digital all, all right? To make you people do the digital dash, all right? His digital currency, all right? He's getting ready to come with that, too, all right? And you people are going to have to choose, all right? You want to bow your knee and be a servant in this society or, hey, make it on your own, all right? Now, that ain't to the elect, all right? The elect are going to be protected by the Lord. The Lord said he was going to keep us from the hour of temptation. He was going to be with us and deliver us from it, all right? He's going he's gonna to be our voice in that day. The Lord said, take no thought of what thou shalt think or say when you were brought before them. All right, uh, it's your father in you that's going to speak. So the Lord's going to be with his men. He's going to protect them. And, and you know what I'm saying? They're going to be good. But the rest of you people, you don't stand a chance, all right? You're not going to be under that umbrella, all right? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be under the umbrella corporation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The umbrella elect corporation, that is. All right. And uh, that's pretty much about it. You know what I'm saying? You see Jake, y'all can see him tonight smoking that shit, all right? Coming from the water, all right? Niggas, all right? But um, as I was saying, you niggas ain't gonna be a part of the the elect umbrella co corporation, all right? Of your how about shit, I was shy, all right? You niggas gonna be getting used and abused and put to death out here in these streets, all right? So, um, y'all 
I think that's a good stopping point. You know what I'm saying? Um, ain't really too much more to say. Uh, again, today is March 24th, year 2022. The year you have about some Turn up. Just wanted to come out and speak a little bit. All right. And Lord willing, it was edifying. All right. Um, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to be out here again come Tuesday. Uh, let me see. I'm going to open Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to try to be out here again. Sometime next week, early. All right, Lord willing. You know I mean? So I'm gonna close it with that. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who teach. And of course, where I learned this truth. All right, peace and salutations. See Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's elect the house of David. All right, Shalom.